Are you saved? Am I saved? Is it right for us to think about salvation set up as individuals trusting in Christ? Yes, the Bible says that again and again, that individuals need to trust in Jesus, to repent. Jesus preached that. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. John the Baptist, he preached, criticizing the Pharisees and the Sadducees and other religious groups. There are groups who trust in things, money, family, religion, but they don't trust in the Lord's grace. Read Matthew 3, 7-10. through 10. We have many examples in the Bible of people refusing to believe in Jesus. And the point's clear. Individuals enter into heaven, but not based on another person's faith. No, individuals are required to have individual faith. We also understand the biblical perspective of corporate salvation. And what does corporate mean? Well, it means a group that is united together. God saved individuals, yes, but did he focus on a higher group of individuals? No. God saved specific groups of people? Yes. He called the group of Israelites out of Egypt, not just Moses out of there. Then the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. I know their sufferings and I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land to a good and broad land. Christ died. He redeemed a group of people, not only one person, one individual. For example, Christ did not die for Kathy, or for Lee, Robin, Joe, Claire, or Nathan, or any other individual. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. There are people who say that Jesus died for one person. If there was only one person that he had created, he would die for them. They emphasize that, yeah. That's not exactly true. It does not follow the Bible's teaching. Christ died, his work of salvation for people. When God made this plan to save his people, he also planned to create a new holy people in Christ. Read in Colossians 3, 9 through 10. God separated the old self. That was the mankind that was under Adam. He separated them into a new people. God made this new people who were in Christ holy. These people in Christ are not from Adam. They are under Christ. These people are all different but they share in their differences. For instance, they have different cultures. They're from different countries and in different communities. They're white, red, black, yellow, brown. We see in Colossians 3.11, it says that the new self, that's a group who are united together. They're united in Christ. They are the body of Christ. The rich, poor, different cultures, all kinds of various things. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free. But Christ is all and is in all. Jesus' life was to save every person who believed in him and give them the Holy Spirit. So he is all and in all. So no one person who believes in Christ is different from another. We are all on equal standing. A new group, holy. Each person building up the group in Christ. One very good quote that I heard, no one is joined to Christ except together with a neighbor. It's true. 
we can't be Lone Ranger Christians. You know, the old TV show, The Lone Ranger, the man, he's riding on a white horse and he has a mask and he's fighting people. We don't have a life like that. No, we're in a community of people who support each other. The Bible says that we become members of this group, loyal, loyal to the church, preaching the gospel. We partake of the Lord's Supper, and we receive discipline when needed. These three things are needed for us to be on the right way, according to the Bible. Fish swim in a school, and you notice they tend to stay together. And Christians, we need to do the same. In a church to worship the Lord, understand that being together is not specifically like that. But we are all of different races, white, Chinese, Indian. We are different. Rich, poor, come from different communities, hearing, deaf, but we're all involved in the local church and it's beautiful. Some people say, well, I'm a Christian, but I don't need to go to church. Well, the Bible doesn't teach that. You don't hear of one lone fish. No, they're in a group. Yeah, you never hear that. The Bible teaches we all stay together and attend the local church.